Hello, again. It's very late, but I can't sleep. And um, I was just going back through my first videos and it's crazy. It's crazy. Because I look back and I set out to do this thing of proving to people that I could get better. And since then, I have had a pretty fucking good time. <laughs> yeah, I really have. Um, I've been up to all sorts of naughty stuff. Just like I should be at 30 years old. And, um, you know, it's really helped me reflect. Now, listen, I, I'll be very honest. I've never done hard drugs ever in my life. The most I've ever done is smoked weed, and I still haven't. Still have not ever touched anything like cocaine, MDMA, you know, whatever. The only thing I've ever smoked is, is cannabis. Um, there was a one-off experience I had in Amsterdam when I was about 22, and I... Allegedly, the cat's coming to say hello. Come say hello, Sam. Hey? Yeah? You're still going as well, aren't you? She's getting old and she's getting poorly. But you're okay. Come here. She keeps me going. Come on. She doesn't want to say hello right now. Um, I've never touched hard drugs. But there was a time in Amsterdam where I accidentally smoked, allegedly, accidentally smoked crack in a spliff. Other than that, <laughs> other than that, I've never touched hard drugs. But just keeping it real. So there we go. Um, so what have I been up to? Well, I love to dance. I love to dance. I love to go to dirty clubs and dance the techno, that's me, like that is me in my element, and I've been able to do that, you know, I moved to Berlin, and I had a great time, Covid came along, life got weird, and I should probably do a further update of like, what I did during lockdown, how I dealt with things, and, and also how I feel I set myself back again, because these are important things to acknowledge, consistency is what pays off, no matter what you're doing, whether you're working at your health, your career, uh, uh, cr something creative, it's consistency that pays off. And um, I still struggle with that today. I still struggle with that. Now, a collation update, because a lot of people ask me, did the Andy Cutler protocol get you better? Um, and are you still collating? Now, I haven't collated for probably two or three years. The entire time, I have been completely aware that I should be, that I should be collating. Um, and I haven't. Why is that? People, I, I read some comments that said, was it not effective anymore? Uh, did you find that it was um, bad for you or something? Genuinely, isn't any of that at all. The only reason I haven't collated is because I'm a massive procrastinator too. And I was enjoying parts of my life and I didn't want to keep thinking about all this stuff. Should I have kept doing it? Yeah, I probably should have done. But I should have also been enjoying my life at the age I was. And that's exactly what I was doing. So I don't regret stopping collation. I didn't intend to stop collation at all. I'm still very you know up for doing it and, I, and i'm very aware that i need to return to it um but i was enjoying life so it, it's, it's nothing to do with that now what do i think got me well i do think that collation had a massive effect on me i think it moved things around enough where i was able to function again and and get out there um i do think collation did that for me because i did everything there's not many things that I haven't tried. You've you've seen me go through the lot. I drank turpentine. I did the enemas. I did the probiotics. I did 
I did the ozone therapy, I, I did this, I did parasite cleanses. I tried every single vitamin, I tried different diets. There's stuff on the YouTube channel. Um, there's stuff that, sorry, isn't on the YouTube channel. There's stuff that you guys didn't see. I didn't always update you. There was a point where I ate fruit for 30 days. I had like piles of bananas in my room because I was get, I was following like all the vegan fruitarian people on YouTube who were all about like detox and stuff. And I figured I did like the 80-10-10 diet for a bit. And I've never been weaker, by the way, which isn't to say that everybody will, will feel like that, but I did. I've tried complete carnival. I've tried just plant-based. I tried raw plant-based. You know, there's a lot of things I've done that I didn't document because I was either too weak or I was just too focused on, on what I was actually doing. Um, so there we go. But I've tried a lot. And where I am now is I know I need to get back to collation. But out of all those things I did try, collation was the one thing that really had an effect on me. Um... So do I still advocate it? Yes. Do I think it's the best, safest protocol in the world? I'm not even going to get behind a statement that would even... Because I, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a chemist. I've just gone with what works for me and what I saw work with a lot of other people. And I gave it a shot. Um, and I don't want to get into the politics of collation. I do believe that half-life of um, chelators that you use is very important. So I do think that it's very worth learning the protocol um, and understanding it before you say anything about it um, or before you do it wrong, which is also very important. It's based on chemistry and you shouldn't fuck with chemicals. You shouldn't fuck with chemistry. It's a very serious thing. So take it seriously. Uh, and if you can understand that and grasp it and do it properly, um, then maybe you will have good results too. That's all I would say. Now, that could be the case for other protocols, but I do think you need to weigh them all up next to each other and decide which one's for you. So that's all I'll say on that. I will be going back to the Andy Cutler protocol. That's just me. Doesn't matter what people try to push me, that's just me. Um, so what's next? Well, my gut health, my gut health has always been a big thing for me. That is the next thing I really need to do. Um, so I'm cleaning up my diet again and I really want to start doing some resistance, like, um, working out because I'm more aware of my testosterone these days. My sex drive has like changed as I've got older and I'm not even old yet. Um, I don't have a bad sex drive. It's just, it's just not what it was when I was 25, which is probably normal. But that, that does make me aware that my testosterone is probably declining ever so slightly, ever so slightly. And because of the deficiencies I have anyway, I may as well, you know, keep up to date, keep, keep on top of it um, and look after myself. So even if I can just do basic weight training, um, just really light, I'll be happy. But I've put on some weight over the past year or two anyway. I would like to make myself, you know, I would like to keep myself trim. I do believe that's the healthiest way <laughs> to be anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm waffling. So, that's my collation update. And a few more rambles. Um, so, yeah, I... I hope that that has settled a lot of questions because it's easier than me just going back in time. Plus new people find the YouTube and they don't go through all the comments. You know, they have they have questions as well. And, it's, and sometimes people will find my YouTube and they'll go through every single video from the bottom to the top of the list. And I think it's really important for me to answer questions in videos rather than one-on-one -on -one, um, because people miss the miss the answers in the questions in the comments so that's that um i'll leave that there again i hope everybody's doing as well as they can be 
apologies for the weird angle and uh, showing you my radiator for most of the video. Me and Sam are going to go to sleep now, aren't we? Hey, what is that? Look, hey, little squeak. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Okay, lots of love. Speak soon.